Okay, very good, friends. Doc South here. Uh, I, I earlier today I was uh, mowing the lawn at our uh, well, the little beach we have along the uh, Musconetcong River, and I saw this rock and and look what's happening. There's a tree growing out of the rock. Again, oh, let me show you the beach real quick. Okay, there. Yeah, see, it's kind of actually it's I'll go slow. Huh, ain't that pretty? Oh my gosh, just the prettiest little spot to be. Good fishing in there too. I never get a chance to go, but... And then that's where I was mowing. And I don't know, I was kind of mowing along. I got to be careful I don't fall. I'm standing on a boulder in the stream. I don't think... These phones can't take getting wet, can they? I didn't think so. Uh, well, anyway, look. So there's this tree growing out of the boulder. And I'm thinking, well, what the heck? How did that happen? You know, where, how can a tree that's actually, that thing's about six foot high for a, for a sapling, it's pretty big. And I'm thinking, how, how can it have a, a root system? And then I investigated closer. Now I'm going to, we may lose the picture a little here, but here's what happened. Look and see. Again, I got to be kind of, kind of careful here. All right. Look at that. Do you see the crack? Uh, the crack in it. See? Yeah. And evidently, if you, it's a little hard to get to, but if you look, there's dirt in like a little valley on the rock. And evidently, evidently some, I guess, a, well, it's a maple. So a, a, a maple seed fell into the dirt, got itself embedded in the crack, took root. And look how that rock is actually starting to split. I guess as a result, partly of the tree uh, growing out of it, but also I would imagine in the winter, water gets in there and nothing breaks a rock up better than ice. About the only thing break, yeah, with the ice forming would, uh, ice expands, always expands when it, uh, when it goes from water to uh, solid to ice. And, and, uh, and actually a lot of times they would quarry rocks by putting uh, pegs into a crack and then wetting the uh, the wooden pegs, uh, a number of them, of course, and the buggers would, uh, they would uh, swell and, and crack the rock. And you just kept doing that till the rock finally split. But look at that. In fact, there's, yeah, this, this poor boulder, big as it is, and it's a biggie, uh, doesn't stand a chance. Sooner or later, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be two boulders. And that's funny. You know, it's funny right there on the tip of that boulder. If you look, uh, it looks like a basset hound nose. And then you go up the nose to the eyes. And if you look down from the eyes, it sort of looks like basset hound ears and a, and a basset hound noggin on the top. Do you see it to the left there? I can't point it out right now, but dog, dog on if it don't. Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you like that. Let me turn this off and uh, well, it looks like I'm not going to drop this thing. That's great. I'll see you later. Uh, bye now. God bless.